Welcome to this video on Reinforcement Learning Model and Trading. In this video, we will look at a common financial markets prediction problem, which can be solved using machine learning techniques. The problem here is to predict the optimal execution price, such that the trade is highly profitable. There are many factors like slippage, bid ask spread, liquidity, and volatility, which could affect the execution of trades. Hence, there are many execution strategies, such as the volume weighted average price, which traders use to optimize their execution price. From machine learning perspective, the problem statement can be defined as follows, to get the optimized execution price, predict the optimal market action at any given time. A market action here refers to order details, such as buy, sell, hold, price, and the type of order that needs to be placed. In other words, the problem is whether should you buy or sell or do nothing at any time t, so that your profit is maximized. This is the problem which Michael Kearns and Yuri Nevmi Vaka described in their paper on machine learning for market microstructure and high frequency trading. Further in this video, we will try to understand this research paper in a simplified manner. Assume that a trader is asked to sell 10,000 shares in 2 minutes at best execution price. Let us see how the researchers represented this problem as a reinforcement learning problem. The environment here is made up of simulated market-like conditions, which maintain the order book, where different order types are coming in and going out, and the order book continues to change. This is a dynamic space, changing outside the control of the algo or the trader. States, every state has a number of attributes that describe the current configuration of the system. Different important attributes are, elapsed time, t, how much time has passed, remaining inventory, i, how many shares are left to execute in the target volume b. Market variables, which compute various properties of interest in the limit order books. And recent activity in the stock. For our example, the state will tell us how many shares out of 10,000 and how much time out of 2 minutes are left. We can observe the state and take action in say every 30 seconds for the sake of simplicity. You can think of state as input. Action. An action is taken by the algorithm every time a state is observed as per the policy. In this case, action consists of a simple limit order price to reposition all remaining inventory. That means, action will consist of a limit order to sell all remaining shares, a price for execution, that is the ask price, modification of previous outstanding orders, if any. You can think of action as output. Rewards. Rewards are calculated as the environment changes, which is the market conditions in this case. This is a very important part of the model, since the aim of the model is to maximize the rewards. The policy takes an action based on rewards. Let us understand how the authors have defined rewards for this model. They have defined a trading cost, which compares the performance of our model to the mid spread baseline, that is, ask plus bid, divided by 2, that is, they compare the profits received if all of V shares are executed immediately at mid spread with the performance of ML model. The idea is to minimize this trading cost. The reward function they have used captures the most important aspects of execution, such as the bid ask spread, the market impact, the opportunity cost, etc. The problem is defined so that the execution of all 10,000 shares is mandatory. That means any inventory remaining at the end of time H for 2 minutes is immediately executed at market prices at the close of the allotted time. So, we will have to eat into the opposing book to execute the orders, no matter how bad the prices are, as we have run out of time and are left with no choice. This requirement plays a crucial role in defining the algorithm. Algorithm or agent tells the model what to do. The algorithm defined by the author is dependent on certain assumptions or properties. Let us understand them first. The algorithm relies on the Markov property. According to which, the optimal action in a state at a time t is independent of the actions in all states with elapsed time. 
that is the actions say at 1 minute 30 seconds are independent of all actions that happened before 1 minute 30 seconds. Extending this logic, optimal actions in states when no time is remaining are completely independent from all other actions. Indeed, when time runs out at 2 minutes a market order for all unexecuted shares is to be sent so that the requirement that all 10,000 shares be sold is met. This is independent of what could be done at other times, say at 1 minute or at 30 seconds. Now we can solve the problem inductively. Since we know the optimal action for all states at final time, that is 2 minutes, we can determine the optimal action for all states at previous interval. That is, 1 minute 30 seconds, and recursively before that, at 1 minute, and so on, till we reach the beginning of time interval. To do this, the authors took the approach of Q learning. In every state that is encountered, all possible actions are tried, and the expected cost associated with each action is updated. The most optimal action is taken, and a new state is achieved. Since we go back in time, we already know the costs of most optimal strategy of the new state. The model learns by going through the dataset of a limited number of all possible states, which are defined as the product T, I, and L. Where T is the times at which states are observed. I is the number of inventory units, and L is all possible actions. To get a thorough understanding of this study, we would suggest you to find and go through the paper online. We hope this video has given you some idea of how reinforcement learning model is used to create an execution trading strategy. Good luck!